this is Ace's John. This is one of my intermezzo building uh, episodes, and I want to show you what I'm doing back here in the old farm. Um, this is the Taffington Boathouse, and you will see I've got lighting up uh, to keep my corn uh, nice and warm. I have these water barrels in between, and these will eventually fill with water. And that will also keep this warm because water carries a great deal of energy with it. Uh, so that's 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 the logic there. So I've got uh, this whole thing glassed in. I mean, there's the little cracks, but uh, I did the best that I could with what I had. Oh yeah, so I've got some corn growing in there. Hopefully, I'll have enough to uh, keep me stocked with some degree of alcohol and uh, met tats and whatnot to keep me sane. The last time I checked, my insanity was at level ten, and it doesn't start being a problem till oh in the negatives. So it's all good. Seems to be growing well. My farmers are doing a pretty good job. Crops coming in pretty good. Yes, I say they are. Check out the old environment. Some resource water signed. Ah, oh, there's a new settler. And let's check and make sure all this is all this is good, good, good. And let's go back here and make sure the corn is is good. I've got two settlers not doing anything, so I need to fix that. That's got people, that's got people, that's got people. So all my corn is all good. Uh, uh, this is my command center for my... Uh, oh, cats are blocking my way. Command center for my... My commo, so I can put the signal beacons out. Uh, I built this new unit here and kind of hit it from the main area. Um, because I kind of have to use this when I really don't want to. What I'm going to do is whenever I find a robot, I'm going to hack them uh, if I can fi fi have a use for them. And I will then be able to use them as robot settlers. But unfortunately, I can't actually get them to be robot settlers just by hacking them. So what I will do is I will hack them, have them follow me, and that'll be like a bonus and then I will come back here immediately, uh, turn that robot off, come back here immediately, make a duplicate generic uh, factory default robot here, uh, which is going to be expensive in parts and bits, but I think I can do it because I'm not going to get that many robots. Uh, and uh, then go back to wherever that robot was picked no up, uh, and uh, then uh, go forward from there. I'll probably pick up a robot, make it here, go back to where I dropped the other robot off, and then make it from there to the nearest settlement where I can assign that robot quickly and easily as a uh, transportation unit. So there's my uh, there's my greenhouse, so that's pretty cool. Um, I've got two new people, so I don't know what I want to do with that. Let's create some more stations. Store. Can I build a store? I think I can. Local leader two. No, I don't have local leader two. So let's get that next. It'll be a while. I'm just got three points in robotics. Um, so no, I don't want crafting. I want yeah resource stations. Botanists. Um. Plavides, floral, I don't know what that is. I don't ever have a need. I, I kind of want to make another brewmaster, but I am actually doing well enough um, with the brew that I have a lot of ammo and some alcohol just laying around. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I'll be okay with that. Provides leather and bones and food. Ballistics ammunition. So it kind of provides just German, ger, uh, generic random ammunition, ballistic. Fish quality, okay. Wood or fertilizer, concrete or ceramic. Ooh, I need a blowtorch. Steel or aluminum. Okay. 
And I think I have a thing that would allow me to make a blowtorch. Under... Let me see if I see if I can find it. Resources. No. Um, special? No. This is all... These are robots I can make with another mod. I just haven't made any of them. It's way... A little bit cheaty. Ah. Alarm clock. This would allow me to make those if I have the material. See, what happens is I think I've got my mods, one of my mods automatically set. Yeah, that's not going to help either. To um, automatically tear down blowtorches into, uh, oof. into its components, parts. Uh, huh. This finds nuclear waste. Okay. Copper or circuit. Caps, pre-war money, or other payment. Food. Prepared food. Oh, you know what? I might. I, that would be cool. That way, I wouldn't have to worry so much about uh, making my own radiated food. I can assign somebody here, and they can go about and create non-radioactive recipes for me. That's awesome. Um, I always extra screw left. Mail service, huh? Okay, so I've got the stuff to make the blowtorch, so we'll not waste time looking for it. We'll just magically create it off screen. And there we go. Provides steel and aluminum. I hope it provides mostly aluminum. All right, now I gotta go find my two un inactive settlers and assign them to this. Who's that? Just a random traveler? Apparently so. I've got some random travelers, huh? Is everybody upstairs sleeping? Right, that's assigned to something. Assign them to cooking. Got too many pets. They're always in the way. And they're not even well, cats are always in the way too. Alright. Got it. Alright, I got one more. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Ah, they're assigned. They're assigned. They're assigned. They are not. Aluminum and steel. I'm not really excited about the steel, but the aluminum... I find myself needing aluminum a lot. And it's hard to find. Sure. So there we go. Plus, they're kind of lit out mysteriously by the light on the inside of the barn, which does a really good job of shining through to this side, which is a little pathetic, but it is what it is. Alright, dog meat, my actual companion dog, keeps getting hurt or something. Huh. Hey, dog. Which I can't get to follow me. That's alright, I worked around that. Alright, so I've got all the crops and everything from here, because this is still my main... my main place. 
And here comes a radiation storm, which is just yeah. perfect because I am on my way. Remember taken. last time and I created a bunker and then I redid my mods and got rid of my bunker. Um, but if you look here, I'm getting constant rads. Uh, it's bugged out when I went to bed. There was about to be a radiation storm. And I am getting rads every click. So I just dropped the bunker there. I reinstalled the mod now that I've got my uh, menus fixed for my building. For some reason, it was all messed up. I had uninstalled a lot of that stuff. So I reinstalled the, the bunker. Go back down in here. Yay, I'm not getting radiation. And then I go back out. And then when I come back out, I am no longer bugged like that. So... That's basically why I, I thought it would be a good idea to have an indoor zone right there. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. Wow. They have a freaking snorkel. That is unbelievably cool. Anyway, so I got a little bit of radiation before I figured out of what was going on, but... Alright, I am... It's about 9.13 a.m. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to sleep... Uh, and get set for the next adventurer episode. I have um, set up all this. Actually, I'm going to move this back with my greenhouse. My lights. I'll take you up on the roof real quick. I didn't show you the roof. There's that. Okay, now that I can build steps, I built these steps here. Of course, those two new stations. And these go up to the roof so I can get up access to here. Uh, and this is a little ba balcony walkway that I I, I I created that goes to the other side. And these are the little plug-ins that allow the uh, fluorescent lights to work below and power my... Notice the steps. Yeah, and so this is the, uh, the little plug-ins that allow the indoor ambient lights to work in here. Um, which, in my regular adventures, I would actually never go in that room. My defensive areas. Uh, so, yeah. That's my setup. Glad you could come look at it. Now I think I'm going to go take a uh, quick nap. Wake up in the morning and uh, do some more adventuring. Actually, before I do that... I want to go look real quick and see if, if my barrels are getting any water in them. It does look... There's water in there, even though, you know, it's it's raining outside. These are technically outside. It's super cool. I might move these a little bit so that there's not clipping on the inside of the barrel. Let's do that real quick. empty them out. Nope, they've still got water in them. That's awesome. They're going to fill up with water and and be sort of kind of realistic in what they would be in a greenhouse because they hold so much energy that they actually do that in real greenhouses. So, alright, well, I'm going to go back to bed. Um, let's check my sanity real quick. I was wondering, the command is player.getAVASanity not question mark. Uh, one of the, my viewers told me about this. Thank you very much. And my sanity is still 10. So I am fairly good. I'm going to take a drug real quick because I made some buff things. Just so I wouldn't get addicted to Mentats. This is minus 2. This is plus 1. And I'll drink some water. Right, and then we'll do another sanity check real quick. And it's 11, so I am in good shape to go kill some folks. Um, upgraded a little bit. I've got a supply line. 
Oh, before I do that real quick, I want to see how I can dump the red rocket as a station. Well, that's unfortunate. I've gone to quite a bit of effort, and I still can't get rid of red rocket. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what to say about it. The compound is always going to be for robots. I don't know how the happiness can go up by three. It might be just because of the kitty cats that are in it. Uh, this is something that I need to work on because this is where my humans are going to be living so far. I I must have done some red rocket stuff early on before starting I involved doing testing because I, I usually, when I test things, I go to the red rocket truck station because I know it's safe and it's right there. And then I forgot that I'd actually turned it into a workshop thing. So, yeah, sorry about that, but I'm, I'm not using it. All right, well... I'm going to eat, uh, I'm going to sleep, and then I will see you in the next adventure. Uh, until, eight, until then, this is Aceless John playing Frost in Fall 4, and I'll see you around.